Okay, here's another story. Um, I'm I just woke up, so uh, <laughs> that's why I look like a mess, and I'm still in bed. Um, but anyway, this one is about um, Ida's apples. She is a goddess, and she takes care of this um, this tree which golden apples grow on and the golden apples are what keeps all the gods from gods and goddesses from getting old so they need her and they need the apples um so one day odin and loki and this guy honier who i had no idea who he was and i looked it up and apparently all he is is this god of indecision and he's got really long legs and he was involved somehow in the war with the veneer but i don't know he like got traded or something and then they didn't want him so they send him back because he was an idiot and he didn't know how to make speeches or something i don't know but sometimes he goes on walks with odin and loki um so he was going on a walk with them. I don't know why that's important. It's not really important, but he was there. So anyway, they were walking around the guard, um, exploring, because they do that. And they, uh, and they started to get really, really hungry. So uh, they found a field with some oxen in it, and Loki killed one, and they started cooking it but uh, it wouldn't cook for some reason. They couldn't figure out why it wasn't cooking. Like they'd just sit there for hours and hours and hours and hours and it was the same. It never, it was like just as raw as when they put it on. Oh, gods are not veggies, by the way, so they eat lots of meat. Um, so they couldn't figure out why it wasn't cooking and they were really, really hungry. Um, and then Loki noticed that up in the tree above where the bonfire was, um, there was this big eagle. And he knew something was wrong with it. Um, and so the eagle noticed that they had found it. And it said that, it said, okay, well, I will let you, I'll let your uh, food cook, but only after you let me have as much as I want. I get to eat as much as I want and then you can cook it. And so Odin, because he was starving, was like, okay, go ahead, take as much as you want. Well then the eagle comes down and he basically picks up all of it and starts trying to take off with it. And uh, Loki was really mad, so he took his staff and he chased after the eagle and stabbed him with it, or, or like stuck it in him, kind of. He didn't hurt it, really, but he kind of hit it, and the staff stuck, though. Um, and the eagle dropped the meat, but he started, he started to take it off, but Loki discovered that he couldn't let go of the staff. He was stuck, his hand was stuck to it. So the eagle's flying away and dragging him along with it, so he starts dragging him that was the plan all along, um, which they found out. The eagle starts dragging Loki across the ground um, and basically skinning him. He, he, you know, really hurt, obviously, being dragged across miles and miles and miles of ground um, at a fast pace without being able to let go. So he keeps calling up to the, to the eagle, like, mercy, mercy, okay, I'll do what you want. And the eagle finally, he's like, well, okay, I'll stop, but only if you, um, but only if you promise me something. And he's like, okay, I promise you anything, please stop. Um, so the guy, so the eagle stopped, and he said, um, I need you to bring me Aiden, uh, and her apples in, within seven days, or else I'll kill you. And he said, okay, I, I guess that's what I have to do. So 
the eagle finally let him go. Um, so he goes wandering back to Asgard, and I don't know why Honier and Odin never went after him or really cared <laughs> that he just got dragged off by an eagle, but they didn't. So he comes wandering back, um, and he knows that he's got to try to lure Aiden away from Asgard somehow because he can't. I mean, they they can't capture her from Asgard. So, um, oh, and he realized obviously that the eagle was a giant in disguise. I don't think the giants are very good at disguising themselves. I don't know. They um, the gods have this too. Um, but if you like, they have these bird skins that if you put them on you become that bird. Um, so the giant had an eagle skin and he put it on and, and he was able to be the eagle and Loki winds up doing it with a hawk a lot of times. But um, So anyway, um, Loki goes up to Aiden and he's like, you know, it's really weird. I When I was wandering around Midgard, I found something that was a little disturbing. It was a tree exactly like your tree. Um, and it had golden apples growing off of it, and it was glowing, and it was it was on Midgard, which is very strange. Um, and the, the apples looked like they may have even been better than your apples. Um, so I don't know. I don't know about that. And she and she was she's kind of stupid. Um, she was like, "What?" She because she couldn't believe that there was another tree that was like hers. He's like, I think you should probably come look at this tree, um, and don't forget you got you should bring your apples too, so that we can compare them. I'll sh I'll show you where it is. It's not too far away, but we bring yours, and we'll and we'll compare them and see if yours are better or if those are better. Um, so she does. She brings um, she brings a basket full of her golden apples, and he leads her across the Bifrost and they go down to Midgard, where, of course, uh, Thiazzi, did I tell you that's the giant's name? That's the giant's name. Um, he's waiting there, and he snatches her up and takes her away. And I think Loki goes with them. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's, he's I guess, he just hangs out in her fields where, where the apples are and everything. Um, so, uh, the gods get are starting to get very concerned after a little bit of time because Loki's gone, Aiden's gone, and they're getting old. They're starting to age really quickly, um, and they don't have the apples to slow them down, or, or to, to keep them young. Um, and they're not pretty anymore. Like, even Freya, who is the most beautiful one of them all, is, like, starting to lose her hair, and she's getting all wrinkly, and... and She's crying all the time because she's not pretty, and everybody's getting pretty upset. So uh, they figured that something was up because Heimdall had seen Loki lead Aiden across the, the Bifrost, and they figured that probably he had done something. So they said that they needed to go find him. So they went down to Midgard, and they all, all searched all over the place, and they finally found him and dragged him back to Asgard. They said, you know, we know that you've done something. You need to get her back because this is really bad. Um, and he told them, like, well, I had to. <laughs> he he threatened me with my life. I had to bring... Whoa, I'm very glowy. Hello, son. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to make myself visible. Um, he said that, that they threatened him with his life and, and he had to bring the apples out of um, or else he or else they would kill him and he and well Odin was like well why did you have to actually bring her you he let you go after you promised you would why did you have to actually have to give her to him and he didn't say anything he was like uh <laughs> Never mind. We don't need to talk about that. So, oh, I'm going to have to pick this up on another one. I've got only a few seconds left. There's a talk a lot. All right.